Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. Happy Saturday again to everyone. You guys, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying your day or have enjoyed your day. It was such a beautiful day today here in North Carolina. Um, no complaints. It was a nice day. The weather was nice. No heat. <laughs> but I'm respecting rain tomorrow, which is okay. Um, you know, it's part of life. Um, there is showers, there is um, nice weather. It's just part of life, but you know what? It is well as well. There's no complaints um, here from North Carolina, and I'm hoping there's no complaints where you are either. So you guys, I hope you took advantage of today to get some things done, or if you just had an opportunity to relax, enjoy the nice weather. Yes, we, it's a long weekend, so if you wanted to put off doing your laundry, your cleaning and all that, you still got a couple of days before the week starts on Tuesday to get all that stuff done. So don't fret, you still got time, okay? So I just wanna come on, you guys, to show you another concept that I have been, um, working on um another tote that i got from the dollar tree you guys these are they're coming out with these beautiful patterns so um i'm just going to kind of put together a quick concept right quick here using these totes now um again the one i did previously with the purse i did not have any um boxes to fit that one nor do i have in here so i did put my contract paper in here as well as I ended up putting some tissue paper on top here. Now this right here is one of the wall, the two piece wall sets that we had got from the Dollar, Ge uh, Dollar General a while back, I think it was a brown dot. I picked up a few of those back then. So I'm gonna use that in this concept here. Also, I'm gonna use some of the products that I got um, the other day from Pop Shelf, as well as some of the things in my, um, uh, stockpile that I have not used in a while so I am just going to get started on that now um, I want to show y'all just what I've got here so far these are the placemats and the knackers that I got from the pop shelf at 90% off the other day um, so we're going to lay those right here I did put a white ribbon around it to kind of make it a little festive here um, I also got one of these spoon rests from the Dollar General, and it's been a while back. This was one of the red dots. Um, so I've had it for a minute, but it comes in handy with the color scheme that I am working on today. So we're going to take that tag off of there right quick here. And we're going to put that right in front of the uh, napkins. My next item that I'm going to work with, you guys, I got um, I got these last year at Lido's. That's sort of like an upscale Audi. Um, I only went there one time, and I think this was in November, so I have not been back. Um, and to be honest, that's really not on my radar when I'm going out shopping, and I might need to kind of just um, maybe one day this week coming i don't know i don't, I don't want to speculate because i haven't checked my calendar to see what all i've got on my calendar so um but i really need to go get back over there to see what they might have available that um interest me um and i might just be in their window shopping okay but i got these fabric fabricware um four piece gift set i they came in red and they came in the green um and i think they were little for nothing y'all i don't even think i paid over three dollars for these back then but um it kind of is working with my scheme here the color scheme so we're just going to lay those right there and let's see what else i'm going to do here um let me glue dot that one close to there so that might stay So I've got a few of these left, you guys. I got these last year, last January, not this past January, but it's been over a year that I have a few of these left. Um, at, I got these from Walmart. Um, they were um, 
a dollar, guys. Um, and um, I got, I know I had over 50 when I started. So I still have a few left, um, but not that many. Um, also, I've got a pair of knives. We got these last year, probably in May at the Family Dollar when they were doing those remodels, all the, most of the products were very, were clearancing out. So I got a set of these. I might have one more set left, um, but um, I just wanna kinda get rid of this stuff, you guys. It's not doing me any good sitting there, not being used. So let me get some tissue paper and fill in this hole here on this side. Um, I've got this candle that I got, we all got from the fam, uh, Dollar General. We're just going to lay the candle right here. Um, I got some of these appetizer plates. Now, I'm not sure where it has a $2.99 sign on here, but y'all, I have no clue where I got these. <laughs> that is so sad, you guys. But here they are. They're very cute little plates, which goes with the color scheme here. So we're just gonna lay these right here. Um, let's see what else I'm gonna do. I've got some pear scent uh, soap here and let's see what I'm gonna do. Maybe I need to put that back here. So let me get some more tissue paper. I'll ball it up there. I'm gonna set that right there. Okay, so let me secure this a little bit more with some glue dots so it won't be looking crooked here. So this is where we're at so far, you guys, okay? Now, I do have some coasters that we all got from the Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar General, excuse me. So I'm going to maybe, let me raise this up a little bit here. You want your items to stand up a little bit you can always add tissue paper and that will take care of that so this is how it's looking so far you guys here um what am i missing i've got some brown shred that's what i think it was missing we're going to fill in right up here in the front Some more here on the side. That also should give your items a little height to it as well. Okay, so this is our kind of cute little home basket, you guys, that you wanted to um, put together for a client or just have it out there in your uh, on your table for your festival or even for street sales. So I think it kind of turned out cute. Um, again, it, it would be a nice christmas gift because it has the waffle maker and all that included with that so i think it turned out well i have one of my green um flowers i don't know if this is going to do what i want it to do but we'll see here so yeah let me put that right there i always try to do some kind of embellishment 
um, in my I, in my baskets. Even if there are flowers, I said before you got them in my previous videos, if you have flowers that you're already putting in your baskets, don't you don't have to add on any flower embellishment because it's kind of going to be a little bit too much. So this is where we at so far, you guys. So what you guys think? Nice tote with these items. Wow. Okay. So let's go back here. And that does happen sometimes. So one thing you just do is kind of secure it a little bit better with your glue dots. Put another one there just in case. And try to let that happen again. Okay. So there we are, you guys. This is the finished product. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this one, um, we're going to cello wrap this one. Um, my previous one, I did shrink wrap that one, but I'm trying to sell on this one um, and see how that's going to go. So y'all just bear with me. Um, I usually have that larger roll of cello that I get from uh, Michaels, but you can always get the smaller with at Dollar Tree or maybe find it on Amazon. Um, but I only have one of these left, so... I'm going to use these, or you can use a cello bag. It's whatever you prefer to use. And I'm hoping this one is going to be wide enough. If not, I'm going to find some another way. Yeah. Perfect. So let me put this together right quick here. Yeah, I definitely always want to um, line it up so it is even. I have some lacking here in the back, so I'll push this back a little bit. And what I always do, I put a pipe cleaner or whatever it is on the temporary until I take down my sides and then I can go back and re um re fix it at the top because I definitely want my sides to be even when I take them down. So when you feel like you got a little bit more on one side, then you can definitely check and see how that's going to work. So it looks like it's doing going okay so far. So we're going to take down this side over here first. Always make sure you have the clear tape. I know some stores have that other tape that's got, look like it's a little cloudy, a little foggy. Definitely don't use that because you it will see, you can see it in your, um, in your cello and it doesn't look that professional. You're kind of wanting to get that crisp look, even though you might have to sell it, you can still have that crisp look with your cello wrap or your cello bag. So green placemats, they uh, turned out very well with the matching um, napkins. I think I really got a good deal on those. Sometimes you just be you at the right place at the right time. Get your blessing, and do not despise small beginnings or small things because um, you just never know what God has in store for you. And remember, everything, every sale might not be for you at that appointed time, but when it is your time, you guys will definitely. Um, overwhelmed with the blessing that he has for you. You know, I'm, I'm saying some people had done a lot of those hauls for those toys and everything, and even those tumbler cups, even though I have been looking for those, they haven't showed up here in North Carolina yet. 
and I've seen people got boxes and boxes in other states, but you know what? It's all good because mine is coming. Like I found those water bottles after the fact. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find some of those cups after the fact either. So I am not fretting. I'm not being jealous or envy of somebody else getting something. When you do that or you say that in comments and stuff, that lets you, um, you know, you just you can envy nobody. I mean, good Lord, that's just a bit too much. But, you know, be happy and thankful for, for somebody finding something. Because you should know yours is on the way. Never envy anybody else. Oh, y'all, that's just not cool. How you And that way you are blocking your blessings when you do that. I just want to let you guys know that. Did, did you not know that? But anyway, here's a bow that I have made using the um, bow uh, ribbon from Sam's. So we're just going to add this bow right here on top here um and it's kind of all the three colors that are in the tote but i definitely wanted to make sure that was all showing there but you guys here we are this is the finished product i'm um, very easy to put together using these beautiful totes that the dollar tree offers um a lot of these stuff was uh, uh, on clearance items the uh, waffle maker, the candle, we got coasters, we got appetizer plates, spoon rest, we got utensils, we got some hand uh, soap, and we got the um, placemats with the uh, napkins as well as a wall shelf. So this is a nice home gift for someone um, as a gift or a, home, a closing gift for, for a realtor, or it doesn't have to be that, it can just be for someone who um, you're thinking of them and they love to decorate they might want to do some upgrades in their kitchen hey it works thank you for watching this video please like share comment um, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do because starting um, in September I'm going to do a new series we're uh, we're ending the autumn fever okay I have one more video to show you guys uh, my progress that I have done for the month of August all my gifts that I have been doing some of from July some for August for these fall festivals that I have signed up for. So I'm just going to give you all a recap and show y'all what I'll have done <laughs> and where I'm at. Um, I still got some more gifts to do starting in September. We're falling for fall, okay? So I am excited. Love fall. I have got certain things in my house ready to decorate. Um, getting Cleaning out stuff and just putting stuff in each room so that I know what... What to decorate in each room but you guys i'm on a mission <laughs> and please come on a ride with me on this mission because we are going places doing things to god be the glory okay everything we're doing is for him it's not up here i'm not up here for any form um form fashion or whatever i'm just trying to be a blessing to give you my gifts and talents and let you guys run with them and do the best you can in your journey in life. Thank you guys for watching. You have a blessed evening. Till the next video. Bye-bye.